Okay, we're taking a look at a new piece of shooting equipment for us. We saw this the other day at the range and picked it up. It's actually a tool for picking up nuts in an orchard. Uh, it's made by Holtz. It's called a Holtz Nut Wizard. Uh, they're out of Douglas, Georgia. If you're interested in one, you might be able to find them by searching them on the web. Uh, what it is useful for on the range, though, is for collecting brass. It's basically a wire cage uh, that allows the brass to come inside and traps it in there. Uh, it comes with a sort of release made out of wire here. I'm using it on a ammo can. It also works in a five gallon bucket. Basically the way it works is you get some brass, do some shooting. And like I say, it just collects it right up. Couldn't be easier. Uh, once it's in the cage, you push it over the release, give it a little shake, drops right out. This is we're using some, some brass case 223-556. Picks it up just fine. It's a little heavy. Might not work so great on the bigger rifle calibers. I'll tell you what, though, on pistol calibers, couldn't be easier. Uh, it picks it up like a like literally a brass magnet. Again, you sort of pry the, the cage open with the release tool there, and you know you can really pick up pretty much any pistol caliber that we've found uh, so far. Now the real test for a device like this is 22 ammo, so we're going to take it a little further with some 22 CB short. Again, usually you're on the ground with uh, tweezers. With this one, picks it up no problem, just as easy to release. Um, again, you don't have to leave your shooting area a mess. Uh, you know, pick it up for just the the metal value of the the brass. Um, real handy device. Highly recommended. It comes with the stick. It's about four foot long, a broomstick. Uh, real solid construction though. Um, bearings, uh, rubber, you can fix it. Uh, real good device. Highly recommend it. All right, we're taking another look at it on a different sort of environment. Um, it will pick up some rocks, but uh, worst things can happen. I'm opening up the can here. The release fits right inside, which is kind of handy. picking up the shells and only one rock. I'm not even bending at the waist. I'm getting that same rock shells again. In fact, the rock just stayed with it. didn't release in the ammo can. No problem. Let's give it that ultimate test again. With that 22 short. 22 short in the dirt. Well, I did get one. Oh, the rock fell out, so I got three rounds. Picked up them last two. They just jumped right in like fish jumping into a boat. Easy to release. Oh, except for that last guy. Can't beat it. Great tool.